Hello everybody. It's my favorite time of the year, the beginning of the school year, time to start new classes, meet new people. I'm super excited about it. So I'm undertaking a task of recording a lecture describing basically some, some essential points in uh, the course syllabus. It's kind of weird because, you know, as a teacher, one of our jobs is to make a syllabus, and the syllabus, really, I find that I spend an enormous amount of time on my syllabus. I also find that my syllabus over time has gotten longer and longer, and I, there's a reason for that. You know, as we learn new things, we learn what we should have included in the syllabus in order to avoid a problem that we had. So, you know, it, I have issues at the end of the semester with people asking me kindly or not so kindly for a bump in their grade. Oh, I got an 88 percent and I need the A minus or I'm going to die, so please give me an A minus. Can I do extra credit? You know what? I throw it in the syllabus after answering that question about 5,001 times. No, <laughs> I don't do grade bumps. I don't do grade bumps. Grade, you got a billion chances to earn points in my class. I don't do grade bumps. And it took me a while to figure out that that was something that I needed to actually include in my syllabus. So this lecture is just to highlight some things and speak to you in more words than what are included in the syllabus, just to kind of give you an idea of what is coming up, what you can expect, and in a little bit of a, a friendlier way than my syllabus text. That said, there really is no substitute for reading the syllabus, and I, I love these guys. If you want to be entertained, especially if you are on the instructor end of things, um, the Ph.D. comics are pretty hilarious, but you will find answers to most of your questions in the syllabus. and. That gives you some power. This lecture is designed to also give you a little bit of power because you can watch the lecture and then things that are not clear, things that you still have questions with, by all means, uh, come and ask and let's, let's get it worked out sooner rather than later. One of the things that you either know already or don't know yet but should know before we get started is that I run my classes a little bit differently than perhaps what you're used to. I flip my classes. And I'm going to spend an entire little video piece talking about what that is and why, um, why you need to know that that's how I roll before you enroll in my class, or you're probably already enrolled before you show up on the first day to my class. So let's talk about what is this flip she speaks of and why in the world would she do it. <laughs> 